Okay, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to make a quick, easy um, blood effect for your footage. So I've got my um, footage, which is a scene from our film The Hunter. Um, there is a film to it, but I'll keep it off, it runs faster. So I use a few different effects from various different places. The first one I'm going to use is from Cordial Digital uh, video, which I'll send the link to, of really good blood effects. So we go to the part where I'm just about to die and cut it off there. Yeah. Now we go on mode, screen. That takes all the black out, but we've still got this real squibs up in the corner. So we go to rubber, after double clicking on it, and just get rid of it like that. Back onto composition. If we move this now and rotate, and again move to around where we want to have it. Um, I'm actually going to move the timer on a little bit because I want this uh, appearing a little bit after some other effects which I'm going to do later on. So yeah, about there. Now we need to change the colour, so tint, add it to here, and we'll map this to A red which we think will match. It takes a while to get to the right colour. For now, I'm going to go with that. And to make it a bit brighter, I'm copying this over each other. The second footage I used was the smoke hit. which I'm going to add in slightly earlier, so I'm going to go back to the timeline. And Detonation Films, this is where it's actually from, I've got a link to that as well. Um, they put their logo over, so I'm going to have to... Uh, there we go. I'll cut off there. Again, screen, and we're done there. So now we have to move this to where we want it. Out here, tint again, and again map it to a red. The problem with this, off the detonation films is it moved to the side. So this time we need to press P to position, track it, so we'll move it up a bit so it tracks to the body and stays more in the same place. And again you can't really see it, so copy and paste. Much brighter. Now we're going to do a wall hit, which is sort of a bit of a weird way of doing things, but I think it uh, comes out really well. So, wall hit, we'll need to make it a lot smaller, this will be the sort of liquid blood flying out. Splat. We got that there. But it doesn't look much like blood yet. So tint again. Again, two. You'll have to play around with this quite a lot to get it right. No, I'm just doing it quickly. I 
if we had any uh, effects out of before. Okay, uh, these two need to move slightly and shrink down a little bit. There we go. I don't know if we might change that. There. So we've got this at the moment. Now I'll copy this again, make it brighter. Actually no, I won't. No bad. Back to composition. Add the effects. Run preview. It looks better in real time. Obviously the blood effects are easier on a camera with a tripod because then you don't have to track the whole the whole footage. So for a reason. Oops. We'll go a little bit before. There we go. The blue effect. Sound is also very important, and uh, if you follow the link that I've put now, you'll see the actual film and probably an effect which I'll put more time on making. Um, so it looks better, and it's also got the sound in. I might also do a tutorial on how to make the sound later on, but not now.